Two days, Nagaland is no longer a Nagaland of the best. Since its formation, it has undergone great transformation. Eastern people left to be rotten, in the slush of the systematically imposed misery, and suffering for at least close to two centuries. Eastern Naga people have never had any political savior, in the political history, of Nagaland. Nagaland was ruled by many political party, since its formation, but nothing changed in the life of Eastern Naga people. None of the ruling party, and its government, have ever bother, or any real interest, in addressing the issues of forgotten people, of the eastern region of the state. Roads, bridges, smart city, hospitals, shopping complexes, trade centers, restaurants, university, quality communication network, systematic transportation system etc. have been built in West, but East remained as thirsty, and deprived as ever. Financial assistance that comes from the center, to address the infrastructural issues, and economic disparity, in the eastern region never reached to them. MLAs representing the region of eastern Nagaland, have perpetually been thrown, at the mercy of their 40-strong counterparts from western region, due to tactfully played number game. 20 is to 40, legislative assembly seat formula, that is blatantly biased, in favor of the western Nagas. Reservation policy that was introduced in 1977, for backward tribes in the eastern region, failed to address the core of the principles, of social justice. Major towns like Dunsung, which once was a center of the Bauer, have been systematically thrown in the corner, without giving any due policy attention. Despite suffering from the long list of systematically politically imposed, odds, discriminatory practices, and discriminatory policy initiatives. Tick here, Kim Nugan, Chunk, Yimkiunk, Bom, Sungtum, and Cognac, continued to participate in Hornbill Festival since its beginning, in the year 2000, without fail. They never said no. But the direction of wind, in Nagaland has now been changed. Eastern Naga people have become educated. They started reading Constitution of India. They started learning about their rights as people. They started discovering, that nobody bothers about them, nobody is interested in them. They started discovering, as to how unjust, and brutally their kids, who are being used as domestic servants, in the houses of rich people in the western region, are being treated. They started discovering, their insufficient representation, in the legislative assembly, as well as government service sector. They started realizing, as to how their rights, as the free citizens of free India, has been systematically violated, by the state machinery. The boycott of Hornbill Festival, by Eastern Nagaland is nothing, but a democratic protest of all the Eastern people, to claim their constitutional rights. The Constitution of India, gives right to the people, and their organizations, to initiate peaceful protest, through democratic means to achieve political victory. In India, right to make a choice, do exist. Therefore, any individuals or organizations, have a valid right to choose to say no, or say yes. Boycotting the Hornbill Festival by Eastern Nagaland, has created a history, both in national, and international news. What can be more important, than restoration of human values, claiming the lost rights, and resurrecting the dead human hopes, to live in better human world?
Hornbill festival instantly loses its meaning. For the eastern Naga people, in the context of the resurrection of the frontier Nagaland. Let us not forget, the state of Nagaland was possible only because of Eastern Region, erstwhile Dingsung Frontier Division, a distinct independent administrative entity, which in the passage of time, became backyard of the state. ENBO, is holding a historic responsibility. The heavy burden of history, is on their shoulders. The outcome of their stand, and actions will be permanently recorded, in the history. The men fighting for the cause, of, broken, forgotten world, will forever be evaluated by the dime, and the history. said, ENBO trying to divide Nagaland. Whoever's saying this, their knowledge and wisdom, is so limited. Nagas are one, there is nothing that can really separate the Nagas. But let the eastern people have their breathing space. The frontier Nagaland once become a reality, will strengthen Naga unity. Naga unity will remain forever. We all are one, shall remain one. Our destiny is one, our real strength lies in our diversity, and also the differences, that we freely share. Frontier Nagland movement, is not just a movement of Eastern Nagas, but it is a movement of all those who believe in justice, equality, liberty, and fraternity. Hence, let us not judge their demand, but let us all join hand, and bring change. Let's stop the evils, and stand for human values. Let's all pray for them, instead of cursing their demand. This will strengthen, the Naga unity. Eastern people, are eagerly waiting, with much hope to once again rise the shining stars, and rise morning sun, in the land of, frontier Nagaland. <laughs> <laughs>